What's going on? He's gonna die. This is so bad. This is so f***ed up on so many f***ing levels. Like, <laughs> I could write this show. I don't think Amber's gonna be very happy that you married a fish. Poor f***ing Debbie, man. Poor Debbie. This is a crazy thing to just dump on him right now, Cecil. This is actually f***ed up. Cecil's so f***ed up. Oh, yeah, this is stressful. We didn't do the title card yet. I thought that would be a moment, no? The city, these people, it's all our fault. Mark, I think saying it's your fault is 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 not really true. It's Nolan's fault, okay? He stayed here. Oh, hey, dude, he's he's been gone from Earth for so long. He's got a new little skimpy outfit on. It kind of looks like a Viltrumite outfit, I'm not gonna lie. And You've I... helped enough. It's time you returned home. Oh, they're like kicking him out. But there is something else I must ask of you. Oh, does she want... Take your brother with you. Yeah, I knew. I knew she was going to say that. Because how can anybody raise him? They're all dying so fast. And now Mark has to be a babysitter. My God, he really just, he needs to drop out of college. It's not going to be for him, man. Mark. Oh. <sighs> oh. Hug your mother. <laughs> I try not to worry, but even Cecil's been frantic. He's... Oh, God. Debbie's going to freak out. Who is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, open the wine. <laughs> It's coming from Mars, headed directly for Earth. A sequid. Tried calling, but they're not answering. Sequids. Prepare yourselves, for the truth may be more than you can handle. We know you're a Martian. It's pretty obvious, bro. We let you join the team without figuring that out? <laughs> you all knew that? Son of a ah, Son of a Why'd they leave him out of it? I hitched a ride to Earth with your space people. And, and when I got here, I was inspired to do good. He sentenced that human to death. Hey, who's there? Sorry, Sarge. <laughs> For f**k's sake, Jerry, you scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, it's a hang in there poster, but instead of a kitten, it's a fish and an eagle. Get your damn snack and get out of- <laughs> The lizards! Yes! <laughs> Here we go. I mean, sorry, I feel bad for Jerry and what's his name? I thought ah, these guys <laughs> were supposed They were supposed to suck, but they're better now, I guess. I don't know why. <laughs> Kate, oh no, I'm worried for Kate. Oh no. Kate, no, oh no. She can't duplicate. Is she gonna die? No. No. She couldn't duplicate. She couldn't do it. Oh my God, they might all die. <laughs> Oh, no! God, they're gonna go out to the lizard people? Oh, God, Rex. <laughs> I don't really care that much if he dies, but I'd be kind of surprised if it happens. This guy is really powerful. Oh, there we go. He just bit his hand off. Oh, of course, this guy's still alive. No, Rex isn't gonna die. Oh, and that's where it cuts out. That's a pretty good... Oh, wait. Don't pause it, Natalie. Don't pause it. I didn't pause it. Oh. Alan! Is he gonna live? Oh, wow. I'm not dead. Yeah, that's pretty remarkable. Oh, this is a nice surprise. <laughs> oh. oh, is he buffer now? He's more muscular? I'm glad to see you in one piece, Alan of Unova. Yeah, one very large and ripped piece. Yeah, you're jacked now. I turned off your life support machine. You did. So is he not actually corrupt? Did he have a reason? You would either die or recover stronger than before. Oh, it was a risk that he took. Okay, so he's not the corrupt member of the council. All right. That was a fun little, like, question that they left. You're a Viltramite? Wait, just tearing? I am the only Viltramite to ever rebel against the Empire. Wait, so wait, we can tell he's a Viltramite just because he took his beard off? Now he looks like a Viltramite? <laughs> I need you to go back to Earth and bring Invincible here. Oh. He is the key to turning the tide of this war. Oh, sh That was fun. I'm so happy Alan's alive. That was so much fun. I, wow. Woo! All right. <sighs> oh, right. This is where we left off with him. Oh 
Oh my god, I was I was not expecting <laughs> him to die. I'm worried that all of these superheroes are gonna get are gonna die too. I mean, holy what's going on? Oh my god, a lot of them might get penetrated by these things. I'll do it. What? Stop it! I'm stronger and faster than you, and you know- Why are we fighting like this? Who cares? Don't fail. Wow, okay, at least we're working together. Oh my god. I don't know if we had time for that, but I know Invincible doesn't trust Mark. Okay, good. Thank god. Jeez. I'm shocked that they all made it out of that situation pretty much unscathed. I mean, they gotta get off the ship, but still. Agree to my demands, and I will consider not destroying half of the nation! No way. How is he still alive? Seems like the loss of your brain hasn't hurt you as much as one would <laughs> He didn't really ever use it very much. <laughs> oh, I said shut up! Oh, wow. He's fighting, like, in this state. Oh, my God. He's gonna kick this guy's ass. He's surviving? Holy f Rex. Okay. You shot me in the f***ing head. <laughs> Are you all right? No, he's not. Totally good. Huh? No, you're not, bro. Never been. Oh, my God. In this season got even gorier and grosser. Please stop with the spurting. Practically. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't I'm actually <laughs> We need no. to get this guy to an O on. Yeah, please. He's gotta survive after that. That was actually I for at first when he died, I was kinda like I was kinda like, oh thank god, Rex is so annoying. But after that, he redeemed himself. He deserves to live. <laughs> girl trouble. That obvious. Girl trouble, oh my god. He came to Art to talk about his girl trouble? Why did he really didn't want to talk to Eve about his trouble with Amber? So interesting. I love Amber, and I want to be with her, but- He came to Art? We didn't talk to William? What about his best friend? Rex was my first serious boyfriend, which is sad and embarrassing to admit out loud. You know, we all start somewhere, all babe. We gotta start somewhere. Oh! <laughs> and Mark's back on Earth, so I guess the question you have to ask yourself is, why, Why are, are you, you here talking, talking to me when, when you should, should be, be talking, talking to, to him? Her. Honestly, Art even asking that question is way more relevant. I'd be like, why the f are you here, kid? Don't you have friends? No one wrote more than just travel books. Oh, does what? he have the books? He wrote sci-fi novels under a pen name when you were a kid. None of them sold right, so he gave it up. Oh, good thing he came to art. Okay, here's why he came to art. The real reason. There's no way Mark is doing any homework for college at all with everything he's been up to. Now he's gotta read his dad's books. He's not gonna have time to take finals. After finding no usable resources, my partner and I were ready to return home, but the planet had other plans. Oh my God. Wait, no way. Is he saying we gotta like get the Viltrumites on this planet and kill them all with the Ragnars? Are we just like, is he showing them like, hey, read all these books and see all the ways in which we could kill the Viltrumites? It wasn't enough that you left me to die on Mars. You had to trash my place too. Oh, he was living in his actual place? Oh my God. Poor Russ. <laughs> oh, is he gonna cough up a sequin or some <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. Russ! I can't believe we didn't monitor this dude in the hospital. Like, what the f Did you really think this was hope? Oh, is this- You're Just getting started. Is Will's uh, friend having PTSD nightmares and flashbacks? The therapist said it would take time to adjust to I don't want to adjust to this. I don't know what's worse. D.A. Sinclair taking me apart or those doctors putting me back together. Hmm. Oh, that's heartbreaking, bro. Poor William is out of his depth here. I don't know how you help this guy. Took away my agency. Ooh. You'd be dead if we didn't. Same problem over here. crossed a line, sir. Yeah, it did cross a line. You erased my memories. Yeah. That wasn't my decision. Whose decision was it? Then whose was it? Yeah, what the f***? Ooh, that was interesting. Showing the reflection of his glasses. I've already seen this. No, 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 you haven't seen something. There's something you haven't seen, Donald. Full authorization. Ooh. Not like that password of mine you thought you'd- Oh, he's got another password. Remember, you asked for this. He asked for this? Dude, he is always teleporting. He just can't, he is obsessed with teleporting. Wait, 
This has happened more than once. How many times has he died? I'm coming. Oh, so this was just the first time he found out. Oh, wow. His brain has survived a lot. <laughs> I'm missing parts of me and I don't know what to do. I know how you're feeling. No, you don't. Oh, he does. Oh. Well, that's weird. I didn't know he could just open his pecs like that. <laughs> how can you live with that? I couldn't. I had them erase my memory. That was a mistake. Mm. The two of you are helping me to see that now. Yeah, so he can help him. He's got to keep his memory this time. We're not our bodies. We're the decisions we make. Oh. <laughs> Oh, poor Rick. Wow, that was such a beautiful speech, Donald. Oh, he's getting some peace from helping others like him. That's so sweet. That's beautiful. I never would have thought Donald would be in this season and then also would have such a prevalent part going forward. Mark Grayson, invincible. Come with me now. What the f are you serious? Dies. Oh my God. Oh, it's a Viltrumai. Oh, she didn't get the memo about his day off. My name is Anissa. And I'm an agent of the Viltrum Empire. Man, every date night. Every date night just getting ruined. The powerful of this world destroy their own home, strip resources for themselves. That's true. This planet will soon be uninhabitable due to human greed. True. And they didn't ask for your help <laughs> with that problem. Maybe we're cool with it. We're not, but... <laughs> Look, there's a chip in danger. I need to go help. I will accompany you. Oh, God. I wish to see how strong the son of Nolan is. Oh, boy. Is she impressed? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Is she going to do something? Oh, she is, huh? Oh, my God. She was so much more efficient about that. Well, that's one way to do it. She was, so she was not, she was not impressed. But we need to make our own decisions, even if they're sometimes wrong. Right. Uh, Why do you care so much about occupying a planet that doesn't want your help? Who cares? This isn't going to change, is it? Can't live in your world. I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of thinking this should have broken up a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, like, it's sad, I guess, or whatever, but, like, it's your first high school relationship and you're, like, a superhero and you're off saving the world all the time and putting her life at risk and, like, obviously it's not going to work. Like, kind of saw the writing on the wall a long time ago. Hi, Mom. Hello, Mark. <gasps> oh, no! Debbie's in danger now. When are you coming home? Oh, Jesus. What a creep. Oh! That was a great way to... Oh, well, it's not over. I didn't press pause. Don't worry. Uh -oh. <laughs> Oh my god! Alan's, Alan's just... Did they see me? Yep, they saw you. Yeah, they saw you. Oh god. Wow, we're gonna have a face-off with this girl. Huh, last time that hurt a lot more. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, he can do it! You wanna take me to prison with those punches? Oh, he's getting a little cocky, <laughs> but I love it. Is he acting? He's acting. He's acting. Oh, he's letting, he's letting her take him all the way to prison. Wow. Alan, you fucking rock, bro. Oh God, you're that guy. That guy? That's all you remember of me? Oh, you're really making him mad. You did this! Oh, God. I was gonna save- Oliver! Oh, no. Oh, my God. He's gonna send him into a portal. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh. Where is he now? Is he home again, or? Oh, God. Leave Oliver alone! So do them a favor and die. Oliver! No! Oh, God, Debbie. Debbie hit her head, too. You were trying to save me. Yeah. Trying to save you? Yeah, you were. You were. You pulled off the helmet. No. No. 
Oh, he's at odds with himself now. Oh, no. We're having a crisis of conscience here. Justice. Oh, it's starting to make sense now. He's seeing all the versions. I miss mommy. Where it was different. Oh, this version of him. He had a son who had a pet fox. Everything's gonna be... Oh, no. Did he kill his son? No. Oh, his costume even looks more evil in this one. Oh. Oh, that's heartbreaking. You think you're innocent in all this? In so many other dimensions, you join your husband and son when they slaughter millions and make the earth burn. Yeah, but not in this one, bro. They're different here. You make it sound like this is the one world where Mark is good, and you're the one who's bad. True, bro. That's why you're so angry, because you turned out rotten here, and Mark is the hero for once. Oh, she's spitting truths. You don't know anything! <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not the villain! You are! Oh my god. I'm trying to save the world! Oh, Oliver. Oh, it's okay. I'm okay. Your attack accomplished nothing. I'm okay. No! Oh my god, this is too messed up. Oh my god. There's another portal as soon as I come out. I'm not ready for comedy at this point. <laughs> I'm not ready for a joke right now. <sighs> oh, he waited for him this time. This is over. Mark. Mom. No. <laughs> yeah, he's not letting go of you this time. Stop threatening my family. Oh, he got to him before he could make a portal. Yeah, keep spinning him. How much I've been holding? Oh, he holds back all the time. He does. And it's sad because there's like heroic music here, but it's also kind of tragic because he doesn't want to be a killer. But this guy's like forcing him. Anyone ever? Mark, Mark. Hurt my family! Ah! Mark, how are you? Mark, don't kill him. He can't send you home. <laughs> oh, God. It's so tragic seeing him do this. But at the same time, like, this guy was never going to stop. He just made him into a killer, Angstrom Levy. This was the one version of Mark that had never killed anyone. And now... Oh. I thought you were... Oh, we didn't show his face. I thought you were stronger. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's stuck here. He's stuck here now. Debbie, she's not dead, right? She's just... Oliver? No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Where's Mark? He's stuck in another dimension. I can't... The line that Mark said, I thought you were stronger. Like, he regretted killing him. He thought he wasn't... He thought maybe, you know, he could let out his rage and not kill him. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill him. Oh, now he's rationalizing. I didn't want to kill him. I did it. I had to. Oh, this is heartbreaking. Thanks for leaving. I kind of want Oh my god, he's losing it. This episode is even darker than I really anticipated. I'm just like a mess. I should have expected, given the way the last season ended. His body could somehow still... Huh? What? No way. What? Whoa. It's different versions. The world where you've been missing all these years, it's not good. Oh, so he has to go back in time? Oh, wow. Convenient, really convenient that there's... Okay, this is a little convenient, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, good, I'm glad we're getting him out of here, but it's a little convenient that they happen to also have time machines. Mark, wait. Uh-oh. I love you, Mark. Oh? I... No, don't tell me. You oh. Tell her. I don't... Oh, wow. Something so that she can go on with her life. Now go. Oh, my God. I don't know if he should have done that. Oh! That's right. Oh, it's, oh yeah, that robot. You weren't paying attention when we discussed not damaging the time stream. Shut up, Rex. Oh, it is Rex with a robot voice. <laughs> She's doing good. 
And all she's done is ask about you. Oh. What about Oliver? Not a scratch on the kid. But he's going to be traumatized after the shit that Oliver's seen. Man, it was extra traumatizing seeing Debbie get hurt. Oh, Mark. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. <laughs> oh, is this... Is this where the immortal went? Yeah, this is the immortal's home. Dude, he's like the Wolverine, you know? Got a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Is that like Lincoln's top hat or something? Immortal? <gasps> I'm sorry, I never told you. Kate. What? I always kept hidden. She had a, she had a version of her that hid. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case, that's so smart. Oh my God, and she knew where his secret cabin was? Jesus. Sorry. I got a lot on my mind. Did you walk out on the roof in heels? <laughs> Girl, you crazy. That is written by a man. <laughs> I'm quitting college. Mark, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't. I have to get better. I have to learn how to control myself. Oh. It's the most important thing I can do. Yeah. Do you understand? Mark. Do you? I do. Yeah, it's like the number one priority. Oh, he's gonna come talk to Eve. There's something else I wanna talk to you about. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is he gonna pivot? It's nothing, I'm sorry. Oh my God, he couldn't be more cryptic if he tried. I think it was better that Mark didn't reveal what he knew about Eve in the future. I heard about what you did on Thraxa. Mark told me all about it. Leave him out of this. This isn't his fight. Oh, it's been made his fight because of you, dude. I deserve death. Oh, God. And yet... What? I think... I miss my wife. Oh, my God. Of course you fucking do. She's awesome! <laughs> God damn it. Leave her alone! <laughs> That's how we end it. That's pretty great. Oh my God. I really enjoyed this season a lot more than season one. I think season one, the structure was there to have like a really compelling story. There were a lot of great mysteries. Um, the big mystery of like not knowing what Nolan was hiding was so tense and suspenseful, really captivating. And the reveal for that was so tragic at the end of season one. And it really was just like so depressing and beautiful um, watching Mark stand up to his father. But a lot of the relationship building scenes and some of the more or simple dialogue scenes that just kind of kept the plot moving and kind of laid the groundwork for other characters didn't really interest me as much. I didn't find it as captivating. I will say I think this season I was a lot more captivated throughout it. There was just a lot more moving parts, a lot more interesting things happening, a lot more heavy topics being discussed on a regular basis and a lot more dark themes being explored in each conversation. Certain characters who were just so annoying in the first season were less annoying in this season, you know, Amber was less annoying overall, although I do think the writers probably overcorrected for her a little bit. Rex became a little bit more likable and able to rally behind after what he went through. Even Nolan, who has still made so many mistakes and has burdened Mark even more in this season, is developing empathy and is starting to feel horrible for the things that he's done. And I'm starting to really get excited about him as a character. Even secondary characters like Alan, who I just kind of thought were funny, have have these really great, exciting storylines that make you really excited to watch them. Like every time Alan has popped on screen, I've been so excited in this season because I just can't wait to see what he's up to. Uh, the Adam Eve special as well really gave me a great lens into Eve as a character. And I liked her a lot before, but I love her now. And I really just have enjoyed this season a lot. I think the writing was even better, um, even stronger. And the web that's being spun with all these different plot lines and all these different twists and stories and cliffhangers is just so captivating and so addicting, really. I, I just find myself wanting to sit and watch episode after episode, even more so than when I watched the first season. And this episode in particular was just so tragic. Uh, watching Mark have this switch flip 
for him where he did become like his father and he did give in to the desire to kill someone, even if there are rationalizations for it and excuses for it. Like Angstrom Levy was never going to leave Mark and his family alone. And so you could argue that that was his only option, even though it really wasn't. There were other options. There were other things he could have done to stop him, potentially. It might have been harder, but there probably were other things he could have done. But killing him was absolutely the easiest and most safe solution for him and his entire family. But watching him go through that dissonance in his mind of him trying to rationalize what he felt like he had to do and tell himself that it was okay because he was alone on that planet for a little while and had to live with his own thoughts. And I know in that moment when the older guardians came to rescue him in a portal um, and said that, you know, oh, we have time machines now. We can send you back to the right timeline. I know I said it was a bit of a cop out. I was kind of joking because really there is no other way you could kind of get him out of that scenario. It really has to be something like that. Although it felt a little easy and convenient in the moment, I still really enjoyed the dialogue for that moment. When Mark said, I don't think I could have, you know, lived with my thoughts alone here much longer. Like, thanks for rescuing me. I don't think I could have survived. One of the characters said, you already did. I forget what the rest of the line was, but you've already did. You already did. And, you know, that implication of, yeah, there is a version of him (laughs) out there that had to sit with those thoughts alone for God knows how long. And just the amount of torment that that version of Mark would have gone through because it, it was hard to watch him descend into grief in that moment. And I loved that we got to see more of that throughout the rest of the episode of him just really struggling with this person who he thought he was and that being completely different now and his whole sense of identity is gone. Him realizing the importance of taking a step back from trying to do all of the things that other people think he needs to do like college and actually prioritize figuring out how to control this side of him that he's terrified of because it's the most important thing. And it's so heartbreaking to watch. I think Steven Yeun did a really good job in this season. It was just totally heartbreaking. But I really look forward to seeing Mark's character progression in the next season. This show is really just heart-wrenching and painful to watch in so many moments. But it's interesting because I I didn't really think it would captivate me in the way that it had when I started it. But I really enjoy it a lot now. And I really look forward to seeing what season three is going to be like. But until the next one, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more things like this in the future with all of y'all. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next especially your thoughts on this series. I really would love to know. Um, Maybe let me know who your favorite characters are. I think right now, in terms of like light characters who I just have fun checking in with, Alan is definitely one of them. And characters that are a little heavier and I just really enjoy their story as a whole. I really love Eve a lot. And now Mark as well, after watching him go through this crisis, I think is really interesting for him as a character. And I look forward to seeing more of him. Anyway, subscribe if you want to. And until the next one, stay golden. Bye.